Early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Creator Network. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to walk you through all of the tasks that need to be completed for the first part of the new Sim Springs event, which is Palm Promenade. The first house is Cactus Cave. To be able to begin this event you firstly need to have completed the Sandy Suburbs neighbourhood, which is the first one in Sim Springs. Once that is complete you'll be able to build the road to Palm Promenade. So we're going to click on the Sim Springs symbol that's next to this task and it's going to take us to Sim Springs, but you can also get there using the bus stop in Sim Town. And here we can see we have the roadblock between the Sandy Suburb, which is this one here. So we've completed all of this one. Check out my Sandy Suburbs walkthrough videos to see how to complete all of those tasks too. So once that's complete, you'll be able to then start on Palm Promenade. This is a new addition to the game so there's no rush to complete it straight away, you have plenty of time. You have all the time in the world really because it will be there until you're ready to start it. So we can click on here to start it. It will take 8 hours to build the roadblock, costs 630,000 simoleons and requires 23 sims. This may vary depending on what level in the game you're on but this will be the maximum amount as this is the maximum level. So then we'll be able to start on the first house which is Cactus Cave. You can see that one is the only one available so far so we had to complete that house to be able to move on to the next house and so on. And once the fourth house is complete then we have completed Palm Promenade and we can start on the neighbourhood tasks. At the maximum level of the game, building Cactus Cave requires you to spend 2,520,000 simoleons and takes 8 hours to build. And again, you're going to need 23 sims in your town to build it. So we're going to skip the tutorial and start straight on with day one. If you do need more information on how to complete Sim Springs, then check out my Sim Springs recap video, which I've made for the Palm Promenade update. And remember, check out my Sandy Suburbs one if you need more information on starting Sim Springs from the beginning. Once you've finished building the Cactus Cave, the time will begin. So if you do want to do the tutorial, then the timer has already started. So bear that in mind. This is the early access version so I will be speeding through with social points. Some people weren't happy with the way I did this last time. I'm not really sure what was so confusing about it. Sim Springs actions have the orange symbol on them. You click on that, you wait the time, they complete the task, you move on to the next one. Me speeding through it with social points shouldn't really be that confusing. I click on every single item to show you how to complete the task. I explain how to complete it. The only thing I'm not doing is waiting for them to complete each task because that honestly would take forever and also it takes forever to make these videos anyway. So it's very disheartening when people say how much they hate them like five seconds after I've posted it. So if you didn't enjoy it last time you probably won't enjoy these ones so you can leave now if you want to. But for those of you who are staying let's start with day one. Sorry I had to get that off my chest first. If you manage to complete the whole of the Cactus Cave event in the time limit, you will unlock the grand prize, which are the elephant ear pots. And if you manage to complete days 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, within 24 hours each, you will unlock the extra zesty prizes. So these are an added bonus if you manage to complete every day from day 5 onwards on time. So there's 24 hours to complete each day and you need to complete each day within that time to unlock these zesty prizes. It's a bit odd that the house template is in the Zesty Fizes this time. It was in the grand prize on the previous Sandy Suburbs event, but obviously they've moved it to make it harder to unlock. This is the house you start with anyway. You have a one-story house with a basement. It doesn't look too great at the moment, but we will make it look slightly better as we progress with this event. Days 1's tasks are place three plants at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zist, Think about the neighbourhood and recycle 12 old boxes. So let's get started with the first task. Firstly we're going to place plants at Cactus Cave. So if we head to the bio mode, go to the outdoors section and to the trees, plants and flowers section. It's so great that we've got this filter system now so I can filter straight to three star plants and also ones that cost simoleons and I can find the white barreled flowers instantly. These cost 500 each so they are a good one to add. 
and we all know free star items make tasks complete quicker. Next task is checking with Johnny Zest. I've got two sims here because one sim is inspired, the other sim isn't. So this is the non-inspired sim and it takes one hour to check in. The inspired sim, it takes 57 minutes to check in. So if your sim is inspired, the time is shorter. So I will show you both of the options for all of these tasks, just so you know exactly how long it's going to take. If you do want to skip a task, it is usually cheaper to skip from the task menu rather than skipping and speeding up the task. Next task is think about the neighbourhood. You'll get this option on a couch. So a normal sim it takes 8 hours and inspired sim takes 7 hours 36 minutes to complete this task. And finally we have recycle old boxes. So there's 12 boxes in this house that need recycling. For this task you can use multiple sims to complete this so you can have 10 sims here at one time that's the maximum amount you can have in a house so you can have 10 sims complete this at the same time an inspired sim takes 19 minutes to complete this a non-inspired sim takes 20 minutes to complete this task so you can have 10 sims complete this in one go and then you can have two more sims to complete it after those 10 have finished so we're going to skip through and move on to day two. So day one is complete and we earn 5,000 simoleons for completing day one. So we can start day two early and that will cost us social points or we can wait the 24 hours. So each day the tasks are available for 24 hours and if you complete them within that time you can then move on to the next day when it's available. Otherwise you need to pay to move on. Day 2, spend 96,000 simoleons at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zest, brainstorm preparations, find 12 pressed flowers and wash 6 dirty dishes. So I'm not going to show you the spending simoleons tasks, I think you know how to do that by now. You just buy things from buy mode and hopefully they will count. Next we can check in with Johnny Zest, that is the same every day, so you just click on Johnny to complete that. Brainstorm preparations requires a dining chair. I'm replacing the dining chair here with a freestyle one, just so the time is shorter. Definitely a good idea to replace one star items with at least two or three star items so you can complete them a lot quicker. A non-inspired sim takes six hours, 30 minutes to complete this task on a freestyle chair. An inspired sim takes six hours, 11 minutes. Fine pressed flowers is next. So we need to find 12 pressed flowers using 6 sims. This means 6 sims can complete this at one time and you'll find this option on household items such as the bed, the couch, the fridge, the dining chair, bookcases, etc. A inspired sim takes 2 hours 3 minutes to complete this task and a non-inspired sim will take 2 hours and 10 minutes to complete this. But obviously it's always longer with a 1 star item. If you wait the 2 hours, 3 or 10 minutes to complete it, then you probably will find 2 or 3 flowers at a time. But if you quick complete it with social points, you will find more flowers. So our sim has just found 5 flowers because I've quick completed it. And again, this sim is going to find 4 flowers. So we would probably need one more sim to complete this to find all of the flowers. And there you go, we found five flowers that time so that task is complete. You just need to pay attention to how many sims you can have complete those tasks at the same time. So you don't waste time having less sims completing it than you could do. The next one is wash six dirty dishes. These can be found in the basement. An inspired sim will take 29 minutes to wash the dishes and a non-inspired sim will take 31 minutes. So you can have six sims complete this at the same time. Those are all the tasks for day two, so let's skip all. Completing day two earns us two LP. Day three's tasks are place two trees at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zest, order online groceries and dispose of five trash piles. So let's start with place trees at Cactus Cave. Again, I'm going to place a three star tree. We've got the maple tree here. Let's put two of those 
Not a lot of room for trees at this house. That's the first task complete. Next we can check in with Johnny Zest. Next we need to order online groceries. This can be found on a computer. So I'm going to firstly buy a computer from the electronic section. Again it's going to be a free star computer. This is the one I usually buy. An uninspired sim will complete this in 7 hours. An inspired sim will complete this in 6 hours 39 minutes. If you'd like to see how long each task takes to complete with all the different star ratings, whether a sim's inspired or not, check out the Palm Promenade post on my blog, the Going Stop blog. Last task on day 3 is dispose of 5 trash piles. These can be found outside. There's some at the front and some at the back. Again, you can have 5 sims here to complete this at the same time. An inspired sim will take 1 hour 8 minutes to complete this. And a non inspired sim will take 1 hour 12 minutes. And that completes day three. Completing day three earns you two social points. Let's get started on day four now. The tasks for day four are place six windows at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zest, organize food, flirt with flowers and take seven floral photos. So let's start with placing windows at Cactus Cave. We have three windows here already, so we need to place three more. I'm just going to copy the ones that are already here, just to save me a bit of time. But if you do store any of these windows while you're completing the task, you will have to place another one because it will remove it from the count. Let's check in with Johnny Zest now. Next is organised food. For this we need to select the option on a fridge. I currently have a two star fridge in this house so I'm going to replace it with a three star one. So we can find a new fridge in the kitchen section. There we go. A non inspired sim will take nine hours to complete this task. And an inspired sim will take 8 hours and 33 minutes. And next we have flirt with flowers. You can find this option on a plant. An inspired sim will take 5 hours 42 minutes to complete this task. And a non-inspired sim will take 6 hours. You can also see the other option on here which is take floral photo. This is the final task for day 4. For this we need to take seven floral photos. So seven sims can complete this at the same time using seven different plants. And that completes day four. Completing day four earns us 8,000 simoleons. Let's get started on day five. The tasks for day five are check in with Johnny Zest, invest in Cactus Cave, order more supplies, battle eight angry bees, and find 24 heirloom seeds. So we've got the option on Johnny Zest to check in, and we also have the invest option on him. If you haven't completed an investment task before, it's very similar to like a pregnancy event tasks where you have to pay the doctor or the yoga instructor or on a sim chase when you're paying for the mastery classes. So there are two options to pay. You've got the token investment and you've also got the incredible investments. The incredible investment will cost you social points 
and it will take a shorter time to complete and the token investment will cost you simoleons but it will take longer to complete but if you are going to skip it you might as well do it from your goals list because it will cost you the same amount of social points as it would do to actually spend on that task but you still have to wait the time next task is order more supplies you can find this option on a computer an inspired sim will take one hour and 35 minutes to complete this task and a non-inspired sim will take one hour 40 minutes next we have battle eight angry bees you'll find this option on a tree non-inspired sims will take three hours 10 minutes to complete this task and inspired sims will take three hours to complete this task the biggest problem with it though is you can't actually fit eight three star trees on this house lot well not eight three star reasonably priced trees on this house lot you may be able to find some that cost you social points or lps to buy but i do like to use simoleum items to complete these tasks to show you that they are actually possible so it does mean you may have to buy some one star trees there are some two star ones but again they will cost you lps or social points so if you do want to do this using just simoleons then you're gonna have to buy some one star trees using a two star tree an inspired sim will take three hours 20 minutes to complete this task and a non-inspired sim will take three hours 30 minutes on a one star tree an inspired sim will take three hours 46 minutes and a non-inspired sim will take three hours 59 minutes so you're adding on about an hour if you're using a one star the last task of day five is find 24 heirloom seeds this task is very similar to finding the pressed flowers, they work the same way, but this one you can use 8 sims to complete this at the same time. Again you can find this option on household objects such as a dining chair, a bed, a couch. And again if you quick complete it you will find more seeds than if you just waited for it to complete. And that completes day five. Completing day five earns us free LP. Day six is the start of the zest zone, so you need to complete day six, seven, eight, nine, and ten within 24 hours each to be able to unlock these extra zesty prizes, including the house template. The tasks to complete on day 6 are place two TVs at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zest, order excessive supplies and investigate investments. Firstly we're going to place two TVs at Cactus Cave, there's already one here so we just need to place another one. Then we can check in with Johnny Zest. I really like the days where there's only like four tasks to complete. Then we can order excessive supplies using a phone. So we need to place a phone from the electronics section. Let's get the free star phone. An inspired sim will complete this task in 6 hours and 39 minutes and a non-inspired sim will take 7 hours. And finally we've got investigate investments, you'll find this option on our computer. A non-inspired sim will take 7 hours to complete this and an inspired sim will take 6 hours 39 minutes. Completing day 6 will earn you 10,000 simoleons and 1 social point. Day 7's tasks are spend 288,500 simoleons at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zest, search for document, write mindful memo and read Megaflora magazine. Again I'm not going to show you how to spend simoleons, let's start with check in with Johnny Zest. 
Then we can search for document, you'll find this option on a couch. A non-inspired sim will take six and a half hours to complete this task. And an inspired sim will take six hours, 11 minutes. Next is write mindful memo. You'll find this option on a dining chair. It needs to have a table in front of it so they can actually use it. An inspired sim will take four hours and 45 minutes to complete this task. A non-inspired sim will take five hours. And finally, we have read Megaflora magazine. You can find this option on the magazine pile, which you can buy from the living room section. Once placed, the options are two hours, 30 minutes for a non-inspired sim. An inspired sim will take two hours, 23 minutes. Completing day seven earns us two RP and two social points. Tasks for day eight are place two dining tables, a cactus cave, check in with Johnny Zist, be berated by neighbours, reflect on actions, examine tree roots and find 36 old water cups. We've already placed two dining tables, a cactus cave, so we can skip that one. And move straight on to check in with Johnny Zist. Next task is be berated by neighbours. You'll find this option on our phone. A non-inspired sim will take 4 hours 30 minutes to complete this task. And an inspired sim will take 4 hours 17 minutes. Next we need to reflect on actions. You'll find this option on a mirror. I haven't got a mirror so I'm going to buy one from the hobby and career items section of the store. I like the white coastal sink, it's got a mirror in it, it's fairly cheap compared to most of the other mirrors available. You'll find the option on this one is 4 hours for a non-inspired sim and 3 hours 48 minutes for an inspired sim. Examine tree roots is next, you'll find this option from a tree. It takes 3 hours and 10 minutes for a non-inspired sim and 3 hours for an inspired sim. Lastly, we need to find 36 old water cans using 9 sims. So again, you'll find this option on household items such as the bed, the fridge, the dining chair, the mirror. It will take 4.5 hours with a non-inspired sim and 4 hours 17 minutes with an inspired sim. Like with similar previous tasks, you will get more of the object you're looking for if you click complete. So our sim has found 7 cups. They probably would have found probably four without quick completing. And that completes day eight. Completing day eight earns us 12,000 simoleons and one mystery key. Before we move on to day nine, I just want to show you where you'll find mystery keys if you're not sure. So if you head to your weekly task tab, you'll find the mystery box shop. Click on that and then you will have your keys to spend on the loot box, the bounty box or the fortune box. So these contain a selection of random items. Day 9's tasks are place 8 dining chairs at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zest, clear out fridge, return supplies, order supplies, check council regulations, tend 9 sick plants. So let's buy some more dining chairs. I'm just going to copy the cheap one here just to save us a bit of money have them all in a row doesn't need to look pretty now we can check in with Johnny Zest if you do have trouble finding Johnny you can click on the sim tracker and click on him on there and it will take you to him there we go he's hiding behind this wall Clear out fridge is our next task. You can select this option on a fridge. An uninspired sim will take five hours to clear out the fridge. An inspired sim will take four hours, 45 minutes. Next, we need to return supplies via a computer. An inspired sim will take three hours, 48 minutes to complete this task. 
and a non-inspired sim will take four hours. Now we've returned the supplies, we can order some more. So order supplies is next. A non-inspired sim will take one hour and 15 minutes to complete this task. And an inspired sim will take one hour and 11 minutes. Next up is check council regulations. You'll find this option on a bookshelf. I don't have one yet, so I'm gonna buy one from the living room section. An inspired sim will take one hour and 26 minutes to check council regulations. And a non-inspired sim will take one hour, 30 minutes. Lastly, we have to tend to nine sick plants. You'll find this option on a plant. You need to have nine sims to complete this at the same time. An inspired sim will take four hours and 17 minutes to tend a sick plant. And a non-inspired sim will take four hours, 30 minutes. It looks like he's cutting an invisible plant. <laughs> Completing day 9 earns us 4 LP, 2 social points and 1 mystery key. On to the final day now, day 10. The tasks for day 10 are spend 385,000 simoleons at Cactus Cave, check in with Johnny Zest, balance the books, order 9 clearance seedlings, update Johnny Zest on progress and find 45 golden pollen. So on Johnny's Zest you'll find the options to check in and the option to update on progress. A non-inspired sim will take 5 hours to update on progress and an inspired sim will take 4 hours 45 minutes. Balance books is next, you can find this option on a computer. A non-inspired sim will take 2 hours 30 minutes to balance the books. An inspired sim will take 2 hours 23 minutes. Next is order clearance seedlings. You need to do this 9 times with 9 sims. Again you'll find this option on a computer. It will take 5 hours with a non-inspired sim and 4 hours 45 minutes with an inspired sim. We've updated Johnny Zest so finally we have find 45 golden pollen. So you can use nine sims to complete this task. Again, you'll find this option on household objects such as the tree, the bed, the fridge, the bookcase, etc. And again, you will find more if you quit complete using social points. A non-inspired sim will take five hours to complete this. An inspired sim will take four hours, 45 minutes. While we're completing this task, it's important to say that you can complete the build tasks, build or buy ones, while you're completing this one. So I can spend simoleons while I'm completing another task, that's absolutely fine. Or if I want to buy the TVs or whatever the task says to do while I'm checking in with Johnny Zest or one of the other options, then that is fine as well. But you can't complete two action tasks at the same time but you can complete a action one with a build and buy one. And that completes day 10. Completing day 10 earns us 10,000 simoleons, six LP, six social points, and one mystery key. As we've completed this in the time limit, we've unlocked the brand and the zesty prizes. Let's take a look at the zesty prizes first. In the decoration section, we've got the antique brown and navy store signs. In the early access version, there was a glitch, so it says the prizes are completely free. They won't be in the actual version. You will get one of them for free. Check out my Sim Springs Palm Promenade post to see how much each of the items costs. In the lighting section, we can find the black and blue floral lamp posts. In the outdoor decoration section, we can find the black and blue ornate street clocks.
and the grand prizes are the green and tan elephant ear pots. The first one of these is free, then after that the green one will cost 100 and 2,500 simoleons and the tan one will cost 10 social points. The other zesty prize you unlock if you manage to complete the zest zone in the time limit is the cactus cave house template. This is a very nice house template, check out my video to see it in more detail. It can be built on a standard and a premium residence under the driveway homes tab. Obviously you can only build it on a standard one in Sim Springs, but it can be built on a premium residence in Sim Town. The first one is free, after this it will cost simoleons based on how many houses you've already built. Once you've completed the first house, you'll be able to start the second house lot, which is the tall tree house. The pop-up will appear straight away once you've completed the first house. You do have a bit of a grace period if you want to wait before you move on, but you will only have seven days before the timer begins, so you need to be willing to spend some time completing this event if you want to complete it all in the time limit. As you can hear, my voice is very croaky now, but we have made it through this very long video. It is only the first one out of four houses that we need to do, so I will be making those videos as well, and they will be in my Palm Promenade playlist as soon as they are complete. Thanks for watching. Bye!